Okay. Good morning, everybody. Today, I will explain what is Amazon Web Services. Okay, Amazon e-commerce services. Okay. Before going to explain AWS, I will explain what is Web Services. Okay. I think uh, you people have basic knowledge on Web Services. Okay. Okay, web service is defined as a software system designed to support interoperable machine to machine interaction over a network. Okay. Web services are frequently just internet application programming interfaces that can be accessed over a network such as the internet and executed on a remote system hosting the request services. Okay, we can call web services, web services are application components and web services communicate using open protocols like uh, SOAP. Okay, web services are self-contained and self-describing and also web services can be discovered using UDDA. This is the direct structure. Okay, uh, web services can be used by other applications. XML is the basis for web services. Okay, to implement a web services to how does it work? Web service means how does it work? The basis, the basic web services platform is XML and HTTP. Okay, XML provides a language which can be used between different platforms and programming languages and still express complex messages and functions. Okay, this is important point. Using web services, you can communicate different different platforms that means uh, uh, you, implement, you, you can implement you will implement one application in uh, .NET framework okay and you, you want to communicate that application using another framework called Java okay you can use web services to communicate both frameworks web service means uh, web service is language dependent as well as framework independent okay web services platform elements these are the platform elements for the web services soap soap means simple object access protocol okay uddi universal description discovery and integration this is a directory structure for web services wsdl this is the one of the important thing in web services okay wsdl web services description language wsdl file is very important that means Java in Java you are using different types of data types. Okay. In .NET you are using different types of data types. Okay, you want to interact, you want to communicate from one platform to another platform. Okay. By middle it will exist WSDL. Common interface between the data types of .NET and Java. Okay. This is the uses of web services. Okay, web services take web applications to the next level. Okay. By using web services, your application can publish its function or message to the rest of the world. Okay. Web services use XML to code and to decode data. XML means extensible markup language. Okay. And SOAP to transport it using open protocols, SOAP, simple object access protocol. With web services, your accounting department with in Windows 2K servers, billing system can connect with your IT supplier's unique server. By the way, the Java framework and the .NET framework, I already told. Okay, next. Web services on Ruby and Rails. In this example, I will explain how can we implement web services in Ruby and Rails. How can it will support? Okay, most web services are based on one of three architectures representational state transfer rest and simple object access protocol soap or extensible markup language remote processor calls xml rpc okay web services often offer access via two or more of these architectures rest soap and xml rpc all these things for example we will offering both soap and xml rpc access to clients in the action web service server. So clients can implement the architecture that's easiest for their specific application. Okay. Using these three architectures, 
uh, we will implement our uh, for the client needs. If you are building your web service clients in Ruby and implement them as part of a Rails application. For example, building web service clients with Ruby on Rails requires only few simple steps and involves just a few Ruby libraries. Even better news is that the, ma the majority of libraries you use for building clients CGI, NET, REXML, SOAP4 or XSD and XML RPC are automatically loaded by your Rails environment. Okay? All you have to worry about is knowing how, when to use, how to use. Okay? Next. Okay. Coming to our actual topic, Amazon e-commerce service API. The Amazon e-commerce service API is web service API accessible through SOAP and REST that provides access to Amazon.com's online retail platform. Okay? Using these web services, developers can find items that are available on sale on Amazon.com website, either by Amazon.com itself or by other merchants. Get detailed information on the items including pricing and availability. Get customer reviews on the items including customer ratings. Find items that are similar. To use the Amazon ECS API as a developer, you need to register for an Amazon Web Service Access Key ID. Okay? You have to register as a developer, AWS Web Service Developer in Amazon.com Web Service website. Okay? Next. Registering for an Amazon Web Service Access Key ID. To register for the AWS Access Key ID, go to this website okay? and register as a developer. And you will get an Access Key ID to use the Amazon Web Service in your Ruby on Rails application. Okay? Amazon ECS Ruby library. Okay? To implement Amazon Web Service in our Ruby on Rails application, we need AWS ECS Ruby library. Okay? I will explain how to implement, how to access the Amazon Web Service using our, in our, in our Ruby on Rails application. Okay? What we will be doing? For this mashup, we will be creating a new Rails application to demonstrate how you can integrate this feature into your website. Okay? In this mashup, the Rails application will have a left hand side that shows your book, its details and a list of similar books. Your visitors can also view comments and ratings from other readers posted on Amazon.com. We also implement the shopping cart functionality. This is the sequence of actions we will take to create this mashup. Okay? These are the basic steps. Create a Rails application first. Next, install the Amazon ECS Ruby library. Create the books controller and create the Amazon Rails library and use it to get information on the book. Next, create the sidebar view to display the book information and similar books. Next, get customer reviews and create the customer comments and ratings. Okay? Okay, one, one important thing is this application don't need database. There is no need to create database. Everything we can get from the Amazon.com. Okay? Using the Amazon ECS library, Ruby library. Next. First, install the Amazon ECS library to our local system. Type the following command gem install Amazon ECS and also including dependencies parameter. Okay? It will install the Amazon ECS library to our local system. After that, create a basic Rails application to implement the this mashup. Okay? Next, we will need to create the one and only controller in this whole mashup. Create a file called books underscore controller. In Rails, uh, you know how to create a controller. Okay? Class books controller. Okay? Include the module. What will we install the uh, Amazon ECS? Include that module Amazon. And uh, declare a class variable called at the rate of book asset. In this application, just 
I this is a static. Okay, declare a class variable called at the rate at the rate book underscore as in and the book identity that book identity. Okay, in that implement an action sidebar action. Okay, in that I, I will declare two instance variables that will get the information of book of our uh, this number. Okay. And also the similar books.